Hey, I'm Brendan Bailey and I'm making my own video game and I've got an exciting new feature to show you, so let's go. And that exciting new feature is hook shots. Whoa, Nixie has a hook shot on his head. Look at him, he's zipping around, grabbing on these bars, just like going all over the place. Whoa, I'm gonna kill these bees. Hold on a second, I'm gonna get, get these bees out of the way. All right, so this is a pretty basic hook shot, but I didn't really want like a crazy hook shot. I just wanted like a like a wrist star style, dynamite heady style hook shot. And uh, the exciting thing about this hook shot is that it's like the first feature of the game that I have programmed completely on my own without any like step by step tutorial walkthroughs on how to do it. Like I just figured it out, wrote all the code. It's probably the worst code ever, but it works. It's working. Like, I was really nervous about trying to make this work, but it works. And the other cool thing that's that, that uh, I've figured out is how to give every action its own uh, time delay so that it doesn't impede on another action. So I can, I can, like, mash the controller right now like I am, and, like, nothing breaks. I don't get any weird bugs or glitches or anything like that, which was something that was happening for a long time. Um actions were kind of like overlaying on each other and it was just kind of a disaster but uh, I kind of figured that out now I'm sure there's still some conflicts somewhere um, but I've tried to be conscientious about a lot of things like even this ladder like you can you can grab onto the ladder like even after uh, going through a hook shot so like that was something um, I've tried to make sure that things don't break if you hook without enough room to like get to the hook bar so like right here if I hook here Nixie will actually detach from that hook because this piece of wall is blocking him from actually getting pulled to that bar so there has to be enough space for him to get there um, but yeah it's uh, it's working so uh, it's 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 exciting um, another thing that I worked on this month was uh, kind of a really, it seems like a really basic thing, but, but actually required some thought being uh, put into it. So, and that was transitioning between um, an animation, two animations that are very similar to each other. And what I'm talking about is this. So, if I'm standing still and I'm shooting, cool. If I'm running and I'm not shooting, cool. But what if I'm running and shooting at the same time? Now, the running and shooting animation is almost identical to the running animation. The only difference is that Nixie's arm is out. Okay, no problem. Just make a second animation with his arm sticking out, right? Well, the issue was is that when you go to a different animation in Unity, it starts from the beginning. So I actually had to figure out a way to get Unity to start playing the other animation on the exact frame of the previous animation. So if Nixie is running and he's at full stride, like his leg, his front leg is all the way out, and then I start shooting, instead of him going back to his legs being, you know, in the middle where they start when he's running, uh, I had to start the animation from the full stride. So basically, as Nixie is running, every frame is, is increasing a, uh, a variable so that I know what frame I'm on. And uh, when the shooting animation starts while running, it transitions to that exact frame. Very, very like slight detail, but very noticeable. Like if it if it wasn't there, and a little tricky to implement. A little, a little trickier than I thought. Unless, of course, there was something in Unity that I didn't understand how to do, which is usually the case with stuff when I overcomplicate it. Um, but it's working, so it works. Uh, yeah, so those are two major updates. Th those two features took uh, took a long time to figure out, but uh, they're 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 working pretty good. So next steps are to I'm gonna keep fixing a couple bugs. I want to get uh, a user interface in place for the player health. The player health code is in and working. It's just not displayed any there anywhere. But Nixie does have health and takes damage and will die if you lose all your health. So I think the next step is just going to be designing a little uh, user interface, uh, like a heads-up display for the top corner. And uh, so that'll be a little bit of an art challenge and a uh, you know a UI a Unity UI 
challenge, but I think I think I'm gonna work on that next. I don't know. I might I might do some other stuff, but that's definitely been something that's on my mind to get squared away. And ultimately, what I want to uh, shoot for is to release some sort of like very very primitive demo to just get the game in the hands of of uh, people in the Discord to just give me feedback on the controls. So, like, nothing, there won't be anything really fancy, won't be any boss battles or anything like that. Probably just a couple rooms where you can demo the controls, uh, you know, demo all the things that are here. So, the, you know, the gliding and the shooting and the attacking. I still need to do the longer attack animation, so that's definitely going to be done before that. Um, since that is kind of like a time-sensitive thing, this is just a, a dev frame right now. But make some cooler animations for those. Um, but yeah, just something so that people can give me feedback if, if like everything feels right, like the jump feels good, um, all these attacks and sh everything feels good. And of course, you know, to discover any bugs with the controls that they can find so far. Uh, again, I'm, I'm sure there's something, but anyway, those will be the next steps. And, uh, yeah, if you want to follow the, uh, the development of the game, go to nixiegame.com, uh, follow me on YouTube. So hit that subscribe button, like the video. Uh, definitely follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. Um, that's where I post all the updates uh, as they as they get done, even little updates like sprites and, and little updates to the development. Um, so definitely join the Discord if this game seems like your, your kind of thing. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.